Anytime you head out of Spokane on a commercial flight, you're flying in a pressurized cabin, kind of like an aluminum can. If that can is ruptured for any reason, all sorts of messy things can happen. And that's why it's so important to be able to detect microscopic cracks in airplanes ahead of time. We all know how ultrasounds can tell us what to expect when mothers are expecting. Now the same technology can peer into an airframe and reveal if too much turbulence has taken its toll on a tail or wings. As far as the detection of defects, um, we can figure out the initiation points of them. We can plot and let them know how big a certain type of defect is within the structure itself. When it comes to aerospace, ultrasonic testing can turn up potential defects in both plane parts or existing aircraft. Airlines are regularly looking for stress fractures in their jets and turboprops. What they'll do is they'll go in and have us evaluate, make sure that there are no cracks in those areas, and then continue on and give the, give the okay for the aircraft to continue on flying. And that's why aircraft makers told community colleges of Spokane their assembly lines needed more graduates trained in non-destructive testing something that could bring more aerospace business to Spokane in the future. Community does well always when you have a skilled workforce and that's the goal. And that's the goal of Community Colleges of Spokane and the Chancellor and it is. It's a skilled workforce that we need and we're here to respond to business and industry. So that ultrasound class is one of several aerospace courses being offered by the Community Colleges of Spokane. Last summer 11 students graduated from the aviation maintenance program and already eight of them have jobs working in Washington's growing aerospace industry. Reporting at Spokane International, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.